Hi folks, it's been a fairly quiet week. Uh, no construction going on at the moment. We had some guys here during the week to uh, measure up for the wardrobe doors in our bedrooms because they missed those when they did the other two bedrooms. And uh, there's also one more wall cabinet that we want because the, the other ones I like them so much we're going to need another one of those in the laundry area. Uh, there's also a gas cooktop we bought which is a nicer nicer one aesthetically for the main kitchen here but that needs a hob or plinth to, to drop into and so we need to get a, a surround type thing built in that area uh, so they measured all that up and I gave them a nice printout drawing of what I wanted and um, then I, I got on to the Google and looked at Solar Tube Indonesia. I found the URL for the Indonesian distributor because I said, well, it'd be nice to get those too. Because um, in the kitchen here, we have two two by one meter windows, but they face out into an area which is completely roofed over between our house and Yaya's house. Uh, so there's not a lot of light comes in there and we, we do end up having to have lights on in the kitchen all day and I think yeah the LED globes they're not using a lot but it's not very bright even then so I, in Tullamarine I had a couple of solar tubes in the kitchen dining area and they were pretty damn good they really were so I figured okay let's see what it would cost for those here um, so they're on the go hopefully getting that sorted out for me. Uh, yesterday we got some more land title paperwork sorted out. Uh, seem to have bought about three hectares of land so far. There's sort of half hectare here, lots here and here. And yeah, anyway, um, I was totally against renting land on the basis that uh, you just got ongoing payments and you're better off just owning it outright uh, which does have its costs here because when you buy land here you end up having to pay a 20% tax to the government for the, the transfer of the title and registration or whatever you so when you buy land you don't buy it to turn it over quickly because you're gonna have to wait for the price to go up by 20% before you get your money back even um, but the family could not understand why I was so adamantly against renting. Then they explained to me how renting of land here works. It's not how I think of renting. Uh, what you do is you have a sum of money which you give to the landowner and that land is then yours to use until they give that sum of money back without any ongoing payments to them. So it's like they're hocking it to you or, or pawning it to you. And it's yours until they give you the money back. Okay, don't buy any more, rent. <laughs> Sounds like a much better deal. Uh, there is paperwork involved to make sure that uh, it's all documented to say, yeah, 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 I, you, you owe me that much before you get to use your land again. Uh, so they can't just say, hey, I'm, my, I'm the landowner, that's my crop. Uh, so there's paperwork involved, but that's not hugely expensive. Um, yeah, so we own about three hectares and we've rented about four hectares. Some of that is sort of in a share farming arrangement with other family members to give them uh, an, in an income of rice. So for those particular plots of land, we said, okay, well, trim it flat, so I'll we'll try again. Um, where was up to? Uh, saying that, uh, yeah, so we're in a share farming arrangement with uh, some of the family members to give them a rice income, even though actually, they don't actually own or rent land, that it's basically share farming where they get half and we get half. So that's a way of, I can support family members without just giving them money, which is something I'm not going to do. Um, the other thing that happened this week was I uh, contacted my Indotara rep to say how are we going with the machine and he's come back and said that the, the guys have said that it's ready 
going to be ready, or likely to be ready for delivery uh, Thursday next week. Yeah, so he says that they project that it will be available for delivery next Thursday. So um, next Friday's update might be a bit more interesting. I'll be able to uh, report on receiving the machine in Panembang, getting all the accessories loaded onto Asra's truck and then following him home to Bakung in the machine. Uh, and then the arrival of the machine in Bakung. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be a bit more interesting than this little chat. So, um, that's it for this week. I'll uh, expect you to uh, come back next week and look at something more interesting. Um, if you want to be advised of when I put a new video up, there's a subscribe button and a bell notification button that you can use. That's the first time I've mentioned those up to now. But uh, I think there's something like 22, 23 subscribers. Woohoo! You can join that huge crowd if you're not already a member of it. Um, okay. More later. Bye.